it is necessary to have a reference page ready in case a potential employer asks you to uh, ask, ask you for it. Adding the note references available upon request to your resume is considered cliche by some recruiters. So it's better not to include this because anyway, they will ask you for uh, uh, references. So you don't need to write down references are available upon request. They know that you have to uh, just introduce your references when they just call you and ask you for, 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 for the number of references. Prepare a list of references on a separate page uh, uh, from your resume and bring it to every interview. Double check in, uh, the phone numbers and email addresses. And don't forget to get permission mm, for your, from the people you want to, to use as references. It is also a, a good idea to give them a copy of your resume in case a potential employer calls for a reference, okay? So um, this is the example of the uh, kind of information you have to include for your references. Uh, reference for uh, Mark King, uh, it is Kate Stone, the name of the person is important. Their title at the job is important, their job titles are important. They, he, she was a human resources manager and uh, uh, the company she worked in, it was Success Tutoring Service Incorporation. And uh, her email address and her phone number should be included, okay, as, as a kind of uh, contact information to the reference. So these are the things that you have to prepare, especially after you are selected for an interview, okay? Any questions so far? No. Hello? No. 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 Yeah. Am I speaking too much and everybody is sleeping? Yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I just clicked on the email, so the outlook thought that I'm going to send an email. So, resume do's and don'ts. So these are also important before we start writing a resume. So these are things that you shouldn't do because they are cliches, okay? Do not list every job you've ever had if you have a lot of work experience. So you don't need to write all your experiences. You don't need to go back to uh, 25 years ago or 20 years ago. They don't care about that. Just write your recent jobs, okay, especially in uh, in a period of five years or 10 years. The, your recent jobs are the most important ones because your resumes should not be long, okay? The resumes should be at most two pages, not more than two pages. If it is more than two pages, it means that you don't know resume writing. They don't care that you have had a lot of experience. They want to see how you are just trying to uh, tailor your resume in a way that it is appropriate for the job. Do not list your secondary schools if you, uh, you also have post-secondary education. So you don't need to talk about your high school's diploma. It's not necessary to be included in your resume, if, especially if you have a post-secondary education, because it's already clear that you have passed high school and then you went to university or college. Do not use a, an inappropriate email address. Okay, try to use the normal email addresses that, that exist in the market, like, like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo. These are the most uh, common ones. Do not use the emails from different companies or different associations that are unknown to the uh, uh, employer. Do not use the first person, the first person I, my, or me. Okay, you don't need to use these words. I'm going to tell you how to write the bullet points in your resume, but you don't need to write these ones. Do not add a picture of yourself. Unless you're just applying for a modeling position, <laughs> uh, you don't need to just uh, 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 add your picture. But in the South Korea is the mandatory. 
I haven't worked in South Korea. <laughs> uh, this is what, yeah, this is what they do usually in, in North America, especially in Canada. Uh, I have no idea about South Korea. I would prefer to, if, if, if I were an employer, I would prefer to have the picture of the person, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it is kind of discrimination. Yes. Adding this. Yeah. Picture. Maybe, for example, the person is uh, Asian or black or, uh, you know, Aboriginal Indian. And uh, you decide that, okay, I don't want this person because he's black. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why they say that do not add a picture. So don't use a, a fancy font for formatting. You don't need a fancy font. Just use the fonts which are normally used, usually. Times Roman is the most common one, or just uh, Arial is the, uh, another one which is always used in, in, in uh, resumes. And do not attach your resume to an email, okay? Uh, usually, you shouldn't attach your resume to an email uh, because uh, uh, if you're just writing for correspondence, you don't need to write an email. Uh, with a resume, you know, but if you're just sending your resume, then uh, that's different. That's a different story. Uh, do not forget to spell check. Okay, it's clear. Do not include a lot of uh, a list of hobbies. So you don't need to write the list of your hobbies unless it is quite relevant to the job. For example, if you're applying for a sports job or as a team coach, maybe it would be appropriate to write about your hobbies, but otherwise uh, your hobbies are irrelevant. So um, I have a question. So. Yes. Uh, imagine a person who have uh, experience and uh, have a job in different sector, for example, uh, he or she had the experience and knowledge in the tourism industry, also in the human resource, and also in the marketing, for example, okay? And uh, had a different jobs in the different times. And now, uh, uh, he or she wanna to uh, provide a resume for marketing. Is it necessary? that write another background in another job or no, just focus on the marketing? Um, I, I don't know if these, these, these uh, fields that you were talking about are related or not to each other. Uh, if they are relevant, yes, it's better to include them because it shows that you are a well-rounded person. You can just handle different uh, fields of, uh, for the same career. But if they are irrelevant, like as I told you, I gave you an example of my teaching career and administration. These are irrelevant, you know, doesn't make, I can just tell them that I have been a teacher as well, just in a very short uh, paragraph or in very short notes. But uh, uh, I, I cannot focus on my, on my career as a teacher to apply for a job as an administrator because they are irrelevant. But yeah. sometimes if it is marketing and you have been marketing for tourism or you have been marketing for, I don't know, different products and you have been a salesperson. So you see these, these, these careers sound somehow relevant. Uh, then you might just include them in your uh, resume. It depends so, on, the, on, the, on the type of uh, jobs you have been doing. So we should, uh, we should uh, attention to relevant or irrelevant. Yes, irrelevant. whether they are relevant to your job or irrelevant to your job. Yeah. Will they add some, some specific skills, some specific uh, you know, uh, expertise to your uh, background or they will not need them, you know, they, don't, they don't require that kind of job. That's why I told you first look at your job postings. The best thing to find out how to write your resume is have a look at the kind of job postings they advertise. In the job postings, they will tell you what kind of expertise or what kind of skills uh, we are looking for. And then you can focus on those skills and uh, 
you know what what to write in your resume okay, okay? i get it thank you so uh yes below are some some examples of what not to do on a resume identify the problem with each each example look at that one please find my resume attached to this email Why don't attach do don't attach resume to the email yeah they say that you shouldn't attach your resume to the email uh, i'm a hard-working sales clerk do not use i me my yeah you shouldn't use i am just write a hard-working sales clerk that's what you are you're not talking about your neighbor number three oversaw lemonade uh, stands mm -hmm. do not say about your hobbies mm -hmm. yeah oversaw lemonade stands is kind of hobby it is not a profession uh, four uh, cute guy Tony at yahoo.com so you see cute uh, guy. in inappropriate yes. email yeah. it's an in, inappropriate email okay do not use the emails that you used when you were a teenager and you were going to attract girls or boys uh, this, this is not a good name maybe a good email address is the one with your own name and with your own family name maybe some numbers five uh, gratitude of milford college sorry grad grad graduate i think I'm graduated sorry. graduate Mitchell. graduated graduate of milford college it's related to very previous time mm -hmm. maybe maybe it, it was a long time ago mm -hmm. and uh, it's not related relevant to the present situation enthusiastic team player so as you can see these are some cliches these are resume cliches here are a few overused words and phrases to avoid using on a resume so if you are using a team player problem solver good communicator go to person strong track uh, record uh, good organizational skills. These are too overused in uh, many resumes, so it's better not to use them. Instead, instead, it's better to find the ways to describe how you are a team player, how you have been collaborating with your coworkers, okay? Mm -hmm. How you have been coordinating things at your job, how you've been trying to solve problems at your job or how you have been able to uh, communicate with others, okay? So, uh, so some do's. Remember we talked about don't, don't do this. Now these are things yeah. that you can do. You have already learned the importance of keywords or nouns. These are the most important words in your resume. You should also use powerful verbs and adjectives. Some of your powerful, uh, some, uh, some of your power words uh, will be job dependent. Okay, so it depends on different jobs, but these are some of them you can use them. These are some 10 powerful verbs, such as advanced, coordinated. Please tell me if you don't know the meaning of any, any one of them. Collaborated, maximized, implemented. You know the meaning of implemented? Yeah, doing. Yeah, implement means perform or do something or conduct something. Uh, launch, you know the meaning of launched? Start. Means it started, very good. When you started a career, a new job, you can say I launched a new career in uh, 2015, for example. Pioneer, you know the meaning of pioneer? Yeah, advanced. advanced. No. You no. was the leader. Yeah, he was the leader. Yeah, pioneer. When you do something for the first time, for the first time. you are a pioneer. Yeah, when you do something for the first time. Represented, uh, secured, and spearheaded. You know the meaning of a spearheaded? No. Spearheaded means go very fast or improve very fast. Improve very fast. That's 
you know, a spear. It means to move like a spear. 